Hello comrades, this is Shetty here, and welcome to my spoiler review of Joker. If you don't want to know anything about the film, I would recommend clicking off the video now. If you do plan to go see the film and you want to know my thoughts on it, go check out my spoiler-free review, and then after you've seen the movie, come back to watch this. And with that out of the way, let's get right into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the ending. It's great, but with the ending, there's a lot of theories, and just in general, there's a lot of theories with this film. So the most talked about one is that the ending never happened, because out the, throughout the film, we learn that Arthur is a somewhat unreliable main character. We see the film through his perspective, and sometimes some of the stuff that's happening isn't actually happening. We learn that throughout the film, and personally, I don't really like this theory that much, and I'm don't really believe it because I feel like if it is true, it kind of takes away the whole impact of the film. But I think that's one of the coolest parts about this movie is that so many people interpret it differently and there's so much stuff to discuss. And, you know, there's not really that many movies that come out now that you can necessarily do that. So I think, you know, you need to give Joker props for that because people are going to interpret the film differently. And I think that's really interesting. I think the plot twist involving Zazie Beat's character is pretty cool. But I did note going into the film and it was pretty obvious from like the first scene that Arthur was just hallucinating everything I mean it couldn't have been more obvious but still it doesn't detract from the perfect score in my opinion this is a perfect movie I really don't have any complaints with it I also do think the plot line with Arthur and Thomas Wayne was interesting how you know they thought Thomas Wayne was Arthur's dad and then it turned out that he was and I thought that was you know a cool twist at first I thought it was a twist that you know Thomas Wayne was his dad but then it turned out that it wasn't real. And I also do think it was cool, just all the little details that they added into this film, like Easter eggs and stuff, like including Alfred, the younger Bruce Wayne. And obviously, as many of you know, in this film, we do see the Batman origin story of Thomas and Martha Wayne getting killed in the alley. And although we've seen this like five times prior to this, I thought it was really well done. It managed to feel new and fresh, and I think that's one of the best parts about this movie. I think in total, Joker's killed like seven people, and I that's including the black lady at the end. It wasn't really, you know, we didn't explicitly see him kill the black lady, but at the end, we did see him like running through wherever he is, the asylum, and we see that he has bloody footprints, so I think that's what they're implying by showing that. And as a whole, I love Joker easily the best movie of 2019, one of my favorite movies of all time, and in case you guys are wondering, I give the film a 10 out of 10, and if you do want to know my thoughts on the film, like my main thoughts and my actual review, go check out my spoiler-free review, and if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment down below your favorite part of Joker, and yeah guys, I will see you next time. This is Chase on Off. Peace out.